we're, we're live. Oh, fantastic. Well, welcome to the Cucumber New Contributors Ensemble. I'm Blaise Pabone here in Franklin, Massachusetts, and I'm joined by our guest and host, <laughs> Matt Wynn in uh, British Columbia, Canada. Hi, Blaze. So, hi, excellent. Is there anyone else on board? Not today. Not I think Kate might show up later. Brilliant. So why are we here? In 2017, GitHub surveyed over 10,000 open source contributors. Just 3% of them are women. We believe that our open source communities will be stronger, more vibrant, and more effective if they are a more balanced representation of all the wonderful people in the world. Open source can provide huge benefits to people who participate, and we want those benefits to be available to all. But people need a place to start. So we hold this session each week for anyone who is new to contributing to open source, especially for people from groups who've historically been underrepresented in open source communities. Our goal is to provide a fun and welcoming environment where everyone can learn why and how to contribute to open source. We use an ensemble programming format for these sessions, which means everyone who wants to gets to take a turn at the keyboard. As we do that, we follow these principles. Safety over comfort. We aim for an environment where everyone can bring their whole self and express their needs fully, even if that isn't always comfortable for us to talk about. Equity over efficiency. While it might seem faster to have the most experienced people do the work, we're here to give space to people who traditionally have been excluded from open source. Exploration over perfection. We are here to learn and always discovering better ways to do things. We embrace experimentation and accept that what we do can never be perfect. Thank you, Blaze. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. So what are we going to do this week? Do you remember where <coughs> we were last we were, week? We were doing some ports and adapters, if I recall yeah, correctly. Yeah. So I think maybe I can show the Miro board. Uh, let me just pull that link up. And I'll share my screen so you can see what I'm looking at because I'm going to sort of wibble my hand around, I should think. So this is the retrospective area of the board. Here we go, right. So what we did was we, well, we've got the retire and active contributors function. But we've also got the tests. And the cucumber tests are calling the the retiring active contributors function, right? Make that a bit thicker. But they also are calling the GitHub for testing um, uh, adapter to um, to do things like, and so in fact, it's not retiring active contributors that's going to create an org, right? It's the cucumber tests that are going to create an org. Um, and maybe, yeah, the retiring active contributors function may request data the last commit by a user, add a user to team. But what we're going to be doing is things like um, creating an org. Why does it say create twice? Um, in fact, what we're going to do is things like create a user. Um, we're going to create a team. Oh, I don't know how to write in this. I'm going to be stuck on that again. There we go. It's there, but it's just tiny font. It might be easier if you zoom in. Then your there cursor will be proportionally larger. Yeah. Um, so, so the kinds of things we're going to be doing is we need to... Um, because as far as the, yeah, so, so what we want to do is we're going to build a fake implementation of this, of this GitHub thing today. And we've got some bits that are, um, checking like what user is in what team. That's another thing that we do. Um, and all of these calls are going across this interface to a, to a fake GitHub. So what we're going to do today is build out this fake GitHub. So something that can look 
can act enough like GitHub for the purposes of uh, of our um, the function that we're building. Right. All right. So essentially, if we go to VS Code, I don't know. Did you get the link to the live sh to the live share? Oh, we were going to try JetBrains. Maybe we'll do that next week. Yeah, sure. Whenever you like. Yeah. Um, hold on, that's the wrong project. I mean, we can certainly do it today. We've got we both got it. That's true. Do you want to try it this this week? Yeah, sure. Um. So, gosh, what do I do? Idea dot. Here it comes. It's probably going to want to update. It's been a while since I ran IntelliJ. And so it's called Code with Me, isn't it? Do you know how? What did you, can you tell me what our buttons? Oh, what yeah. happened? Uh, it's gone into a different window. There we go. Um, do you know what buttons I need to press to live share yes. it with you? Yes. Uh, what you want to do is um, <clears throat> it's going to be called. Uh, let's see, it's going to be called uh, up on the top, I believe. It will be, uh, there's like a little people, uh, there's two little people and a pop down menu next to where your build environment is. This is code with me. Where, or you can do, uh, where's the, uh, where's the build environment? Sorry, blaze. Control where, shift oh, Y. Okay. Try control shift Y. Control shift Y. Oh yeah. Code with me. Okay. Enable access and copy invitation link. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, edit files, full access. What does that mean? I think that's for terminal and stuff like that. You can take a look at the. Oh, automatically start a voice call. We don't need to do that because we're on Zoom. Yeah. Okay. So has it done it? Link copied. It send it to people you want to join. Right, I'm going to send you it in Slack. Slack, fair enough. Here it comes. Got it. I wonder what the font size is like for our viewers. Um, and it's not so easy to bump it up in IntelliJ as in other things, is it? Uh, is it something like... No, I can't remember how you do it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just a pinch to zoom. So how are you getting on at getting in? Yeah, I think it's almost there. Um, oh, it's downloading a little runtime or something. Okay. Uh, mine wants to update, but I'm going to not let it. So I'm going to try and get a terminal open. Let's see if I can run the tests. Hmm. So that's an irritation already of IntelliJ. It's giving us a false positive on that. Yay, here he comes. Two 
see the uh, 2302. Yeah, you're in. It says B, B power unjoined. Okay, brilliant. So, have we got a similar sort of like follow me over here kind of a yep. thing yep. that we can I do? Will follow you. <clears throat> well, do you want to still run a timer and try and rotate who's driving or. Sure, why not? Um, do you want... Where's the mob timer window there? So, in the mob, we've got. Blaze, and we've got Matt, and uh, what should we should we go for a longer turn duration? Five minutes always feels a bit short to me. Yes, I think probably seven is good. Seven. Save that. I mean, Enable timer sounds. Oh, we can choose it. We can choose it. Out. Let's do. That's better, isn't it? Do you like that? I love it. It's great. Yeah. Okay. Right. Shall we go then? Yes. With, um, let's you, swap it though and have you. You, you might see a pop up. Drive and I'll no, navigate. Yeah. Yeah. I may have locked myself out accidentally. Oh. Okay. So well, let's you might make see sure you pop up. Surprising Let's make sure you're back in the file and you can edit it before we... Yeah. Can you... Um, can yeah, you just say you left. It okay. says you see people you? on Alert. left. No? I just tried to connect and it says waiting for a post approval. Oh. So I wonder if you've got a pop-up menu somewhere. Uh, no? Not showing me anything. No, right okay. Now. Let me try this one more time. Uh, cancel. All right, and let's. No, you don't see the. I don't see any pop-ups. No. Okay, maybe it's a one-time use link. Maybe. Uh, Should I give you another one? Copy invitation yeah. link. Looks pretty similar. <laughs> uh, it does, doesn't it? Uh, okay. Let's see if this works. You don't see any, uh, it's not showing anything, is it? Shall I reboot mine and? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. Because didn't it say that you had updated something? Well, it offered to update, and I told it not to because I didn't want okay. it to interrupt our session. Sure. I could do that, but it'll take a minute or two, won't it? Uh... Well, let's see what happens when you restart. Yeah. Okay, so what did you say the key press was again? Oh, I can see the little people icon now. Enable yeah, access and copy invitation link. Full access. Enable access. Dun, 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 dun. Link copied. <clears throat> okay, there's a new link gone into your Slack.
Okay. Did you see anything on your end? No. Is it saying that you sh you should have been okay. requested again? Uh, oh, well, let's see. Uh, Oh look, it's it's telling me I've only got thirty minutes of free time left. Oh, on Zoom? No, on Code with Me, and I have to buy a license. Oh, I think I have a here. Let me send you a link. Enable access and copy. Oh, join another IDES participant. Can you hear that bashing? Is it really noisy? A bit, but it's not bad. Okay. <clears throat> um. Enable access and copy invitation link. Enable access. Enable. I will paste a link to you and we'll see what happens. Link copied. Okay, why don't you try this one? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we've done this before. Well, it, it popped up a, a thing saying that you joined in a few minutes ago. What's happening uh, at your end? Uh, well, I think what happened was it, it has like a little client app, and I must have interrupted it somehow. No. And now it's prompting me to. So now I'm trying to do it from within JetBrains, from within uh, PyCharm. Do you think I should restart? Uh, do you think I should upgrade? Well, that uh, you might not have all the. What do you know? What version you're at right now? Yeah, Is it's it... like version you something might point that, one, maybe. and there was a point three. Twenty twenty one point. Actually, twenty twenty one. That's got to be old, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, how do you check? For yeah, I think you want to be at yeah. least at twenty twenty two dot one. Because this stuff's, I'm sure, twenty twenty one one three is available. I'll do an update. Third time lucky. Maybe reboot things at your end as well while you're at it. Yeah, I'll do that too. And I just read the licensing terms for Code With Me. We've got an ultimate, uh, IntelliJ Ultimate license. So I think I should have a full license for Code With Me as well. Okay, the back the update is running. This is exciting. <coughs> software developers spend doing this sort of stuff <laughs> yeah exactly actually it's not funny it's frustrating hmm it's still showing 20 Twenty twenty one point. Oh, there we go. Twenty one point three. Okay. All right. So third time lucky with the invite link. You ready? Yeah. Full access. Enable access. Oh wait, we've got another update available. Twenty twenty two point one available. So it's doing it in increments. Should I do oh, that one yeah. as well? Oh my gosh. Should yeah, I do that do one that. as well? Do that. Cause, yes, because I think I got a message saying that I had to upgrade to that. What myself. version are you on? 2020, the same one, 2022.1. Right. Okay. I'll do that one as well. We'll get there in the end. What is it doing right now? Is it downloading patch files?
best to wait for just a moment. Go ahead and get, I'll be right back. Sure. Well, come on, JetBrains. This is taking a really long time. Oh, wow. Well. I don't know why it's taking so long to download some patch files. Like, I have a <coughs> super fast internet connection. Probably their CDN. Oh, here we go. Nice. Dun, 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 and now it's extracting the patch files. Don't have to do this with VS Code, Blaze. Got to say, got to say it. Well, you've done it more gradually, right? It I happens mean, all the time, though. It does it by itself in the background with VS Code. Right, you don't have right. to think about updating it, really. It's very yeah. rare it wants to reboot or anything. It just kind of quietly, yeah. quietly patches itself in the background. It's pretty good at that. But then it's it's merely made of JavaScript rather than all this yeah, fancy. It's, it's, uh, Fancy Java that IntelliJ is made of. I presume it's made of Java, not C++. Yeah. Well, they call it Kotlin. It's oh, there. right. Yeah, they use Kotlin to build it. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're almost there. I wonder what their build numbers mean. Yeah. There's no date in there, is there? I don't think so. We must have some very sweet testing tools because um, we've got an awful lot of features and they always seem to work. support so many platforms too yeah it'd be interesting to learn how it was tested i remember um do you know the uh the have you ever come across the music sequencing app called ableton ableton live oh yeah sure um yeah i remember this is years ago now i don't know if they're still still using it but um we were going to remove a future feature from cucumber ruby which um but a lot of people abuse which is the way you can you can like nest steps within step definition so you can oh yeah um anyway you you can call gherkin from the ruby step definition in cucumber ruby trust it yes yes trust it and uh and in the 
responses to it one of the responses we got to this proposal to to remove this feature was from the people maintaining ableton live saying we use it everywhere because we write tests in cucumber ruby and then map them down to a small number of granular um functions which you would then implemented in cucumber c plus plus and we use it to test ableton live Wow, I was like, that's... "Wow, cool!" And I remember Josh Chisholm, who was working with it at the time, was like, "This is one of the coolest pieces of software in the world," and they're using Kikoru. He's really excited. Yeah, cool. yeah. Right, I'm going to invite you. Full access, enable oh. access. Is this fourth time lucky now or third time lucky? Fourth, I think. <laughs> okay, link copied. Where's my chat with Blaze? There it is. God, this is an exciting video this week, isn't it? <laughs> Any luck? Yes. And I realize now that it's... Um downloading the app but in fact i don't actually need to download the whole app okay. Uh, okay it's going through some sort of launcher yeah interestingly it's not complaining about licensing anymore so maybe that's something ah. to do with the update Verifying an app. Here we go. Nine three five six. Waiting for host approval. Accept. Accept. You're in. I'm in. Hurrah. Can you run the tests? Uh, let's see. Uh, Guests can't see this terminal. Share terminal. Share terminal in tabs context menu. Okay. Where's the context menu for the tab? This one. Got it. Settings. I'm running the no, test with Good group. lord, no, that's not Got it. it. You can run the test. Yep. Fabulous. Right, okay, I'll close the other terminal. All right, great, let's get going then. Should we start the timer? Yeah, sure. Finally. Right, D Matt is navigating, Blaze is driving. Let's go. So, um, let's start at the... Where should we start? Let's start on the way out. So, when okay. we do get members of team... At the moment, we're returning a hard-coded array, right? On line 14 here. Yes. So let's try and move this hard-coding a little bit further back. What we're going to do inside of this fake GitHub is we're just going to have a bunch of, like, in-memory arrays or dictionaries that are remembering the structure of teams and users. Yes. Um, and... Uh, and, and even commits by users and then they c it can return those things so just like it's just a data store but it's going to be an in-memory data store so it's, it's going to be fun because it's like easy to build this kind of thing in javascript so okay. a good uh type of object to store the users of a team on would be a dictionary right so in uh, or a map sorry we can use a map okay. so let's make first of all let's make a private field at the top of the class so do like okay. private read only oh up here yeah up here up there. The yeah yeah exactly yeah um private read only members and let's call it like members of team
and that can be equal to a new map it's with a capital M. No, like call it call it a map. Use a map type. It's got a nice type. Um, a ca so new capital M map. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, let me show you. It's like it's like this. Um, so we just want to. There's there's a type called. Oh map. oh oh! I get it. New there's a type called I, map, and we want to yeah. create a new instance of it. Right. Like that. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, map uses generics to say what types its keys. No, lowercase is right for a field. Oh, oh it is. Okay. Yeah. Right. Use uppercase for uh, types and lowercase for variables oh. generally right. in JavaScript. Yes. Okay. So, but with with because it's TypeScript, we can say what um what types the keys and values are. Oh, okay. So brilliant. the keys right. are going to be team names, which we store as strings. Mm -hmm. And then the values are going to be arrays of strings, right? So do you want to put an ar right. array of string in in there in the second right. second element here in the in the generic? Well, you can just do string um, close open square bracket. A... Oh, okay. Like that. Yeah. Um, perfect. So now we've got a, f a place where we could look up the members of the team, um, but they won't. Ha it won't have anything in it yet. Um, so. But let's try and get the members of the team in in our function from that field instead of getting them from this hard coded array. Okay. So like change line seventeen yes. to call members of team. So you still want to return something, but call just get rid of that that whole array thing that's we don't need anymore. Yeah, perfectly. This dot members of team, and if you call dot get on it, you should get some prompting about um, what should to pass say? that. Uh, yeah. So you want um, to pass it the key, which is going to be the team name. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're actually done here, and we can delete the to do in this function because this is this should work. I'm interested why I've got a red underline in that. Uh, type string undefined is not a sign is it of this, type this string. Part? Type undefined yeah. is not a sign of type string. Have I misunderstood how you do the... Do I need a semicolon here? Uh, yeah, no, you don't need a semicolon. I don't know what I'm missing. What am I missing? We've made a map. Oh, I think. I, oh no, that's right. <clears throat> Do I need another curly brace? String it's... or undefined. So why? I guess it's maybe worried that there's nothing in there. So get could return undefined because there might not be anything in there. So what we can do is put a guard clause around it. Um, there's something gone a bit weird with your formatting, Blaze. I don't know. Is there really? Yeah, it's sort of indenting things a bit. Um, oh, well, maybe... Maybe <coughs> IntelliJ doesn't know about us. Yeah, we want to use two spaces. Can you see down what I'm doing on my screen share? If you do down, down at the almost at the very yep. bottom right-hand corner, it says four spaces. Click on that and do configure indents for TypeScript and change it to two. Two, okay. Yeah, that's what we've been using. So that should be consistent. Does it reformat and save? No. But at least we can tidy it up. Oh no, mine says four spaces also. So what other methods do we have? Has set entry state clear for each values okay so the the part the the reason it's complaining is that we might ask it for the members of a team and there are no members in the team oh okay right so what we could do easily do here is just um 
just say, well, if there's if it's that returns undefined, then we can return an empty array, right? Okay. So um, at the end of the line, if you put like all the double pipes, right. Do you want me to put it there? What well, I can't see where you're. T no, um, at the end of line seventeen. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, so I we'll, see. So we'll okay. either try and get the the users in the team. Um, like that. Or. No, here. Okay. And then, and then, or an empty array. So, okay. so return an empty array if there's nothing, nobody in the team. That's it. Oh, sorry. Okay. And then we just need to break that onto new line. And now the the compiler's happy, right? Right. Because it's saying it's it knows it's it's never going to end up with returning undefined if there right. was if it didn't have any users for that team. Does that make sense? It does. Yes. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. So obviously what we need to do now is make sure that there is something in the team. So that's going to be about us um, updating these functions like create team and create user and add user to team, which right. are going to um, which are going to do those those bits of work. Make Should sense. Should I run the test again? Yeah. I think we'll probably get a different outcome because we used to be saying users found some user and another user and we're no longer stubbing those users we're just stubbing um, <coughs> we're, like there's no users right right so it says users found and then nothing that's okay because we're going to get this working for real okay yeah. well shall i drive then and yes. did we restart the timer well, i can't see oh, the window no. okay i am matt and i am driving Okay, so uh, so I think we want to get to uh, let's see, get members of team. Uh, I suppose we need to create some users. Should we go for this function here? Add user to team. That looks like it's going to be Add pretty relevant. To team, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's like line thirty-two. Yeah. And uh, here. Are we going to also give it a map of people? Or is it just one? Do we want to do a private read only? Uh, well, I think this is the place where we could manipulate the data in this map. So we could, ah, right. we could okay. add okay. the... <clears throat> so we, do we want to say, do we want to create a new team and say new team? Uh, members of team. So... Um, what we want to do kind of thing is get the members of the team and then append, append this, exactly. this user yeah yeah so if we did this dot members of team dot set and then it can be an array containing all the existing yeah. ones and this one oh. Oh, is that what the ellipsis is for? Um, Interesting. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to have liked it. I thought that was good JavaScript. What's wrong? Oh, I have to give it a key. So we want to set the... Oh, <coughs> member, right? Now what's wrong? Expected two arguments got one. No, that's right now. Oh, oh okay. It, so it, again, it, it, it could be a... So actually, I could do get members of which does that right that or equals thing there we go okay so it'll get the existing members and append on the the, the new user does that make yeah. sense uh yeah so the key is user and the, the key value, is team the key is the, the oh key right is right team. right oh and then the user is the oh okay Okay. Let's let's put it another way, right? Uh, uh, updated users equals. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. So yes. we create an array with the existing members <clears throat> and this new user on the end. 
and then we set <coughs> we set that on the on the dictionary. So should we try running the tests? Yeah. Uh, right. Return. And here it should fail one step after that. Whoa! Look, it's passing. Oh my god. Oh, I see. It's passing because we did a full code path. I mean, we... wow, that's kind of exciting. It is exciting, isn't it? It is exciting. Um. So what do we what do we need to do next? Because it shouldn't really be passing. There must be some stuff that we're not doing yet. That I mean, there's a bunch of to dos. So I guess we could work our way through these to dos. Yes, we do need to work our way through. These. So we have to. Um... Should we make a commit though at this point? Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's fair enough. Yeah, because we've got one working uh, spike, so to speak. Oh, I don't want to add all that IntelliJ stuff. Um... Get reset head. Oh, okay. I'm going to get ignore that actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. That's better. I'll just edit it manually. I can't remember how to do that. Oh, you me. wanted to echo it. I wanted to add add something onto the end of it, not, not overwrite it. Oh, I see. That, that's, that's the double chevrons. Ah, oh, thank you. Come on. Should we try that? Let's try that. Yeah, double chevrons is a pen. Two chevrons. There we go. <coughs> okay, there we go. Right. Uh, so that should mean that we're now. Yeah. Uh, I'll add that in a minute. So let's do the in a separate commit. So does it give me a co-authored by thingy? I'm going to put that in my chain set. Shall we silently refresh, roll back, show diff. How do I commit it? Oh, commit, here we go. So we don't have the co authored by thing. Oh. Oh, because that's in our intelligence. Here, I'll paste you my final statistics in my tagline. I think I can remember it. Is it not that? Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. It plays a Gmail letter. Because you've got that superb yeah. Gmail address. Uh, right. So we are. what we're doing is we're updating the steps file because we um, implemented... Implement... Um, team... The members, the team members, uh, we can basically return a list of members of a team. Okay, which is pretty crucial for, yeah. for our project. It is. So I'm going to make a commit. What does that look like? That's very nice. So what's in the what's in the the different than steps file now? Oh, we've also got that change which we didn't add. Oh, because it's like keeping them separate, the changes that you made and the changes that I made. So we oh, need to add true. that. Um okay. do you know about this? Git add minus P. No. And you can choose the little bits of the oh, diff patches. to add. That's great. So, no. I love yes. that. Yes. 
and then we can do git commit amend and that should now put all of that in and then we can do git add dot git commit and we'll add the okay cool so let's push that right we must be at time it must be your shop uh yeah okay so um do we want to then do the next we're going to do the next uh <coughs> excuse me. um we were going to create an org is that right do you know what i keep one thinking about this like i don't think having an organization is relevant at all i think we should just delete that step yeah because like we just want to know right you're gonna you're never gonna i think this is like from when maybe from when it was a bot right. but an action you're just going to install it in a repo and and you don't right. need you don't need an org it's it's not relevant so i would like to delete i would like to try in this yes. iteration just yes. delete this function okay whatever step is calling it let's delete that see how the scenario reads see what we think because i think this is just noise all right let's run the test and see what happens all right It's up there somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we've got a TypeScript error, yeah. Which is what we would expect, really. Uh, so, here we go. This step's line 57 has failed. Can you see that in your terminal? If you oh, it? yeah, yeah. Um, put comma separated elements on one line. Hmm. Are we missing a parenthesis or something? Wait. No, yes. so this is where we're, we're trying to call the the create org function, which we don't need. Oh, right, right, yeah? right. So oh. we just want to delete this whole step. And then we want to go right. and look for it in the feature file and delete that as well. Okay, so we can... Now, there's probably an IntelliJ way to do this, right? Like oh, that would be really cool if there was yeah i bet we certainly could have done it for the um for the function i don't know whether it'll work into the into feature files i'd be yeah, surprised so if it could i just did a, a safe delete and it's going to do it uh, so it's actually really easy to delete because it's just in our background of the, of the feature okay. file Uh, move an active user's feature uh, and then it's going to be can you see the step on line 10 the the background uh, step give, give up, yeah i think we can we, just get... we can just delete the whole thing just delete the background the background also fair yeah. enough cool. <clears throat> right let's try running it again Okay, more TypeScript errors. Oh, Cucumber Cucumber has no exported member given. Oh. Really? That's... Oh, I think maybe what it means is... What? Did we have to import um, given over I, there? That's just bizarre. I mean, how has that suddenly appeared? And of course it exports given. How has that suddenly just appeared? Uh, Given based on what we've just done, when we deleted one method, that's absolutely bizarre. Um, npm run. T uh, what what's the 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 is it? Given is right here. Yeah, it's it's definitely <coughs> there. It's it's nonsense. It says unresolved name import name. Yeah. So I'm going to run the TypeScript build and see see what that does. Uh, 
Okay. So that's happy. So the TypeScript compiler is happy. Can you just run the test again one more time? Sure. That's the source. Um, maybe it's the whip tag? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, this is super weird. I'm really confused. Given. Um, is it something to do with the safe delete? Oh, God. I wonder if it deleted something. Maybe if we, it, like, inside Cucumber. Maybe should we do oh. npm install and see if that just, like, restores it? Maybe it's actually yeah. gone. Uh, I'm going to just remove my... No modules and we'll npm install again. Because that was pretty weird. Like, Cucumber's no longer got a given method. I don't believe you. Yeah. No, that's exactly... I bet that's exactly what happened. It, it, is it? it, 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 it but is it like in some sort of IntelliJ cache? Because it's still showing it. Oh, it's gone, actually. Is it gone? Yeah, it's back. It's back. We fixed it. Okay. So now if I run this, um, that bit should pass. I wasn't a very good navigator there. I got my hands on it. I'm sorry. That's all right. I got... Uh, okay, yeah, it, it passed. Well, I okay. think that's a really good uh, lap that we've yes. just done there anyway because yeah. we've just removed some crap from the thing that we didn't need. One other thing I noticed, which you could maybe do as part of the same commit, is we still talk about an organization that says when the job is scheduled to run on the organization. I think we could uh -huh. just say um, when we run, when the action is run. Right? Because it's, it's going to be just an action. It's just going to be a GitHub action. So we could just say when the action is run. Yeah, lovely. So should we do a sort of search and replace on that? I can, sure. you, if you Maybe you go through yep, the feature yep, file yep. and I'll go and change it in the steps and then it'll just work. We don't need to worry about yeah. um, it fail. When the action runs. How are you getting on? Good. Uh, oh, I tried to do a replace in occurrences. Oh, right. I see what the problem is. Uh, <clears throat> Project. Okay. Runs. Open and find. Oh, right. File mask. Uh, okay. It should have. Is it not run? Uh, occurrences. Oh. Cool. Alright, let's 
try this thing. I was trying to get clever with um, search and replace. Replace and files. Schedule to run in the organization. Uh, I don't know why it's not. Uh, okay, I'll just do it by hand. Can make the searcher in place working. <laughs> the action runs. Oh, when the action runs, okay. I'll change this one here. It's really nice how you can have multiple people changing. It is, it really is. Time when you're doing it's great. Of a chore. Okay, so we run the test one more time. Yes, let's do that. We should be back to green again with our to-dos. <coughs> All right. So we've got a to-do, assert that ASLAC is not in the alumni. And I think that's probably what we need to, we need to implement that next. But then I think, I think we're actually gonna end up being done with this scenario and we can move on to the, the sort of opposite side because this is like a no-op scenario, right? Right. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not gonna do anything to the that's state right. of things. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we well we're getting somewhere. Um, should we do a quick retro? Should we commit this? Yes, let's do that. Let's do a commit. Um, well, I'm not going to commit package JSON because that's just because we did that npm install, which we didn't really need to do. So what did we do? Remove unnecessary uh, org step. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and we re. Uh, yeah. yeah, we also we changed it from job schedule to action run. Yeah, let's do a quick retro. Uh, where's my Miro? Where's my Miro? Maybe I've closed it. Because I think it's time, isn't it? 12.22, yeah. How's your covid -y brain fog? Are you doing it's, all right? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's about the same as it was. I might take a little nap after this, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I did a lot of napping during COVID. Uh, so we're missing Kate doing doing our frame generation. So we'll have to do this ourselves. Oh, okay. And I, don't uh, know, I guess I'll just put it over here to the right since we're, we can't keep going down because we've got that diagram in the way. Um, let me get into the mirror board. So where are we? Twenty second. Oh, uh, guess I don't have the mirror board link handy. I thought it was in. Oh, uh, it is in the Slack. It is in the Slack. Isn't it? it is in the Slack at the top. Oh, of course, it's one of the pinned. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, you in. So I just put it to the right, look. Yeah. Um, 
so how about we just take a moment of silence to think about one thing that we liked and one thing that we wish should we just stick with this format yeah just just have a little bit of reflection time Okay, I'm done. Yeah, me too. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create sticky notes, right? Yeah. Do you want to do you want to go first? Give us a give us a like. Yeah. Um. So I have to say, I I thought the editing in you know once we got the IntelliJ stuff working, I thought the editing was quite smooth. Yes, I wrote the same thing down. I mean, it didn't glitch the way VS Code has glitched on yeah. us. And it's yeah. it's only one data point, and there was only two of us. But so far, so good, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would say it's higher fidelity. So, <clears throat> yeah, definitely like that. Yeah, I'll, um, and, and I also like the, uh, the just the intro, the preamble where we talked about the ports and kind of where we were going to go next. I right. think that was a nice. Uh, it helps set up the shared understanding of like where we were in the world. Well, I liked. Um, I liked you doing the intro. That was really oh, nice. Yeah, thank you. You did a lovely job, and it was just really nice to have it not be my voice doing that. So that was lovely. Um, the other thing I liked, apart from the jet brains, because I completely agree, um, we got a little bit of progress. We we did we get did. so it's quite satisfying to see that thing of starting yeah. starting to see how the fake github plays its plays its role i think it's still emerging probably and it'll become yep. clear as we build more of it out yep. um and it's a bit of a shame we didn't get more time to really move through it today but that's all right because it's and yeah. you know we don't want to leave i guess we don't want to leave kate behind so no right. um yeah <clears throat> so uh so that was my likes have you got a wish um Maybe, I mean, I think if we have enough time, maybe in the end, we could wrap up again, go back to the ports and adapter diagram and maybe illustrate a bit like where we were and what happened when we were there. Because there's a nice kind of, um, I think it, it, it sort of sets up a bit of closure. It sort of illustrates the progress. Like at the end of the session, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and you know, I took an action. It reminds me, I took an action last week to draw an architecture diagram, which I just did not do. Uh, like to update that architecture diagram, kind of make it a bit more clear. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's actually. I think it might be okay. Well, so one one strategy would be to do the diagram and to have it all ready, and I suppose the other one would be to make it um, as we go along, and so it, it sort of reveals itself. Yeah. Uh, now I suppose the compromise might be to have it all worked out and have it at like a ten percent gray, and then to darken. Yeah, the that would be cool, wouldn't it? Complete. Yeah. 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 Um. 
So, I, but I think there's a bit I can do to make it a bit more polished because it's kind of awkward doing it during this session because I'm not very fluent with with mirror di mirror diagrams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, the wish I had really was just that we'd done a bit more homework. I'd install, I'd I, I'd considered that we were going to try JetBrains and and like booted it up and run the updates mm. before yep, the yeah. session. Well, you know, when you when you do the uh, YouTube video, you could literally snip out yeah. a good ten or fifteen minutes of us restarting. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's a good call. Because the truth is that there's when we got on a roll, we were working quite quickly, and you know, it was fairly engaging. So it might be worth uh, just snipping out the part where we weren't making progress. Yeah. Good point. You can also do highlighting in um, in Twitch as well. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, um, with these other actions, um, do we still? I think I'd still like to take the action about drawing the architecture diagram. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the poll for the new time, I think, is pretty much done. There's a little bit of tweaking around exactly yeah. what time we're going to start, but it looks like it's going to start being on Wednesdays now, doesn't it? That's fine. Sure. So yeah. I think we can call this done. Do I make it green? Is that what I do? I suppose. Um, I don't remember what the convention was, but yeah. <coughs> and then JetBrains yeah. prep well. We're done, but maybe what we should do is like write to everybody else in the channel right. and say JetBrains experiment was a success. Mm -hmm. um, we'll probably use it again next week. Here's what you need to to install and do, just for so everybody's kind of got a chance to get their setup sorted. I kind of worry it's going to freak Kate out. Um, well, I because she oh, tends because to it... just use VS Code in the browser, doesn't she, at the moment? Right, right. Well, the JetBrains thing is fairly self-sufficient. Yeah. Um, but it will try to download a big blob, and she might not be comfortable with that. Uh, oh, actually, there is a way where she can download the, the the viewer in advance, and then just paste, and then we can just send her the link. That might be the thing to do. So, can you take that action yes, to think, yeah. sort of? Just message people in Slack. Yeah. Just say, you know, this is this is what we need to do. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um. It. It. Uh. It would be awesome if you were able to come along to the um to the Kuken space. Even yeah. just for one of the days, because we could actually do a, a beginners Mom. ensemble. Uh, yeah, we could totally do do another um, uh, ensemble together. But I'd also like to try and recruit some more people at the conference yeah, for the ensemble. You know, I'd like to That's talk true. about it a bit. Um, we've got somebody from uh, Amber Haskell, who's the um, I've forgotten what her job title is, but she's she's basically in charge of the diversity and inclusion program at smart bear is coming along to q can space to to do oh, a session on um, inclusive language and stuff <clears throat> so um there's going to be a whole sort of theme around uh you know broadening the contributor base so it's going to be really good yeah I, I highly recommend it to you and to all of you out there that are watching this video uh, so yeah, if you want to know how to sign up, I think if you just go to Cucumber.io, there should be a banner. There was, there it is. Registr registration is open for Cucumber Space Online. Sign up here. That'll take you to the page. And you just need to fill in a little bit of details about uh, why you want to come and what topics you're most interested in. And then uh, you'll get a free ticket. And it's going to be using this really cool thing. Blaze, I need to just quickly show you this. Have you oh. seen Gather Town before? Oh, I love Gather Town. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to do the whole thing in Gather Town. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Gather Town is fantastic. We should yeah. use that at work. Yeah, well, the Cucumber team do use it at work. 
Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, the like the team that's been working on Cucumber Studio use it use it a lot um, as their kind of like virtual office. It's really cool. So I've had Julian, who's in that manages that team, helping me get the or helping Joe yeah. and I get the um, the space set up for Cucumber Space. That's so cool. All right then. All right. Thanks, Blaze. And pleasure. see you next Wednesday then, if not before. I'll send Thanks. out some new invites. Pleasure. That's the other thing. That's another action I need to take. Send out some invites for next yeah. Wednesday. I'll change the invite. Okay. Cool. Have a good week. Cheers. See ya. And let's stop the stream.